Okay, starting a new streak. Let's go for one good game. Poochie Karat. Well... Yeah, no. <laughs> Probably not, anyway. Hmm. Hey, Taito! Finally, we see a company at the beginning of a game, and it's not a bad sign. Also, this being a European ROM, it'll be in English, presumably. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's one of those... Hmm. We actually have actual options. That is so very rare on so many of these later games where all we would get is, do you want sound? Do you want music? <laughs> Why not? Story mode. Uh, Garnet, this, Aqua. What, what, what do these things mean? Okay, I think we gotta go with buy just for the sake of it. Um, actually, I don't know. It, it, oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe we gotta go with Opa. Oh. Let's go with Glasses Guy. <laughs> Twelve magic gems and my dream comes true. My dream's preaching science to everyone in the world. Let's go, Ralph 30. Let's do it. Good day for experiments. My dear robots, move exactly as I say. Beautiful day. Crunch. What the... What the indeed? What the is... <laughs> Okay, so what are we... What, why are... what, what in the... but... the... 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 Huh? <laughs> what? What just even... <laughs> but, like... Why in the what in the how in the... Give me your magic jam! Seriously. <laughs> so, um... For some reason... Breaking blocks for... Is, is there a... a no? I'm hitting all the buttons and... There wasn't like a bring it down rapidly button, like, uh, I, I know, uh, Tetris Attack, you can press buttons. Yeah, I got the magic gem, but I can't understand either. But the character knows what I'm going through. I don't understand, uh, like, we're on normal mode. I thought normal mode would have an average level of difficulty, not the computer dies instantly. I don't understand this. Like, there's no button to make stuff advance. So, how was I winning so incredibly quickly? What, why was their stuff... What, why did hers advance, like... Three, and mine advanced one? What, why is it advancing at all? What is causing this? What are the rules of this game? Also, we do have an Arkanoid-style Move Quickly button, so that is always a major advantage in these Arkanoid or Breakout or Alleyway or whatever you want to call them style games. And now we have Junk on the screen. See, this is more what I was expecting for normal difficulty, you know, gameplay where we are about on par with each other, even though I I'm hitting a single block and I, I guess if you hit a block above, all the ones below it are destroyed as well. That seems to be the case.
Oh, and all the blocks on the side of it. I guess they were also going with some kind of uh, bust-a-move style physics here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, the writing in this. Like, now that we've moved on past the gameplay, the freaking writing in this. Also, it seems like I'm guessing the start is just plain pause. Yep, just plain pause. No menu or anything. Oh, 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 I, I, ha, 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 a thing, a thing is understood. I finally get it. I finally see. If you miss, then it comes crashing down and you lose. <laughs> Understanding is happening. I finally see why. Also, we have one single life. Okay, good. We have continues. <laughs> okay, now then. Now that all of the things, I think, are understood... Okay, yes. <laughs> now we can actually play the game! I, I will actually start save-stating now that I have the foggiest idea of just what on earth is happening. Although I don't quite understand how this whole apparent combo system works, I guess. If you destroy so many blocks at once, you get garbage blocks on your opponent's field. And now I'm losing miserably by way of all these garbage blocks. And, you know, missing is not helping in the least. Are there. <laughs> and of course, now that we understand the gameplay of it all. This game was a lot more fun when we had no idea what was going on. Come on. <laughs> there. Finally managed to get a good hit in there. You know we're gonna have garbage rain down on us now. <laughs> That was nice. Oh, and hey, suddenly... Yeah. Okay. Let's go see more English. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Pretty much our big hope is that the computer is terrible and keeps missing, and gets junk rained down on them. <laughs> Which is obviously not going to happen with every single opponent. This is kind of nice though, having so little stuff on the field for a change. And, you know, not having a million garbage blocks. Or as I say that, of course.
Yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want there. And as mentioned, now that we do know what's going on and all that kind of stuff, there's much less to talk about because it's just a kind of a breakout kind of thing. Okay, let's see what other ways we can be weird and aggressive and just not a very likable character we picked. Okay, we have several at this point, because we've just been bullying them out of everyone. I wonder if we're going to take her Kumi Kumi as well as her magic gem, and wow, that sounds so wrong when I say it. middle game where the actual gameplay is just boring and generic and not all that good, but the cutscenes are just so amazing that it's keeping me playing. Like, I want to see the rest of the cutscenes involved here. Also, we're kind of getting our ass handed to us here. Just to... Ah. <laughs> Trying to get up that far right side there. Did not happen. There we go. Okay. Excellent. That was awesome. Maybe we could manage it with a little bit of safe statery. Although, for all the stuff we got, we're still getting garbage rained on us. And the computer did not get all that much rained on them. Oh, hell no. We're, we're only going through one character's story, if even that. There's no way I'm going to... Like, if this gameplay segment were more compelling, I might be more inclined to trying to play more of the stories, but since this gameplay is just kind of meh. Oh, now we're facing the Pikachu. Digging with a shovel. <laughs> What? So we are just kind of going squirrel on it. <laughs> Shiny thing must get. <laughs> of course, I don't know why each individual character even has a magic gem to begin with, but you know, if there weren't one, we wouldn't be able to go all creepy jerk on them to try and get them all. And, oh wow. <laughs> so, not Pikachu kind of is terrible at Breakout. Crap, man, this dialogue. That's enough of that there. bit more like it, even though all that added up to absolutely nothing. Oh, 
Okay, this is bad. This is really terribly bad. There. <laughs> Little tiny bit of a reprieve there. Except not. <laughs> There! Okay. In the clear again. Awesome. Total turnaround. Oh. Skipped past the dialogue. What did he say? She looked well to you. Why would she want my clothes? This old man. Is he creepier than I am? Probably not. But let's see. I don't want to know where he's hiding his magic jam. Come on. Okay, he's creepier than I am. Come on. Let's get other stuff going beyond that. So I think we're going to once again end up in a situation where the only thing that will save us is some kind of amazing turnaround, so we'll see how things go. This board is not looking particularly good for a sudden amazing turnaround, though. Especially if we just keep getting junk piled on like that. How is he kidding so much? <laughs> okay, so yeah, totally screwed there. <laughs> We seem to have no limit on our continues that I can see. Yeah, so it always goes up at that sort of slight angle there. Let me get to it. How do we get to it once then? Like we've seen him do it plenty of times. Or all the opponents really. I think there would be... I don't know, maybe you can't get two of different colors or something. There. Oh yeah, that, that, that is how, that is what we want. <laughs> Even though that gained us absolutely nothing. How do we get the junk on their side? The, uh, garbage drops. Okay, that got a little bit. Obviously we're gonna need a lot more than that, but still. Now, once again, name for this game is Poochie Carrot. Uh, C-A-R-A-T. Was released uh, in Europe only. It wasn't released in America. It's kind of unfortunate, because this would have been an amazing thing to have. Okay, so all we need now is for him... Ah, dang it. <laughs> I was getting close there. And now we have no way to win, really. We have just kind of stuck with a lot of garbage blocks with even more appearing. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> oh, we're so screwed. Well, maybe this will be as far as I am able to get. 
Mm, yeah, well... Okay! See? Awesome! That's the kind of turnaround that we need to actually win. To be losing so badly that just a sudden miraculous turnaround is the only way to win. That was entirely contradictory. The magic gem? I have the power of science! But... <laughs> We're on a quest to get all the magic gems. How are we still... exalting the name of science? <laughs> oh my lord. This character. So I don't think I want things the hard way from this other character. Wow, okay. That worked nicely, I guess. Was not at all expected, but sure. So kind of terrible in that we now have just like a solid mass of blocks with no real... Okay, there, now we have actual space around them again. And sudden victory. <laughs> Apparently, making fun of science, other people making fun of science, is the entire reason we went on this quest now. It wasn't what we said when we started this quest, but, you know, we're just kind of retconning that. Oh no. Oh jeez. He already found garbage to rain down on me somehow. Don't know quite how. So I think this is going to be another one of those possible turnaround victories, because he's clearly going to be very difficult otherwise. And, yeah, no. Victory is not an option here, because... It's like... Every block he hits somehow rains garbage down on me. Trying to see how he's doing it, and just kind of failing to really understand how he's getting so many of these combos, or whatever you would call this, you know, removal of numerous blocks at once. And of course, Sending garbage at him is also a way of giving him the opportunity to perform a turnaround victory on me, like that apparently. Good lord. Just suddenly six of those segments of blocks at once. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> I 
don't know if we can beat the uh, little glasses man. Or maybe he'll suddenly be terrible out of nowhere and we'll just suddenly win. His robots are his reincarnations. But you're still alive, kid. <laughs> Holy freaking crap, man. <laughs> so, this has been some kind of amazing game. Yeah, this has been far more interesting, like, I really, really wish that the puzzle arcade mode was better. Like, that seriously drags down this game. The cutscenes and the dialogue are so goddamned amazing, but the gameplay just kind of drags it down and just takes forever and... Even if you do have unlimited continues, it's just kind of a crapshoot if you're gonna win or not. And then sometimes the final boss just decides, eh, well, I suck today. You win! <laughs> and no, I'm still not going to do any of the other characters, you know, storylines. Maybe in a later stream or something I'll hold on to this game. Because, you know, for the purposes of Lexi Games, we're done. This is a complete Let's Play, and, you know, we, we, we don't need to drag it out for that long, because I do actually have understanding of what people may or may not want to see, and more of that breakout gameplay is not really going to be high on the list of what people will stand for. So, you know, we're going to end this here. This has been Poochie Carrot. It's been surprisingly awesome. Um, if only for the cutscenes and the dialogue. Definitely really highly recommended because I'm sure that the other characters' is, uh, story modes are equally batshit insane with, you know, equally horrendous English translations, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this has been some kind of amazing thing, all in all.